This article is sponsored by YM Cinema 65, which is a one-of-a-kind handmade stainless steel model of a 65 mm motion picture film camera. The perfect gift for filmmakers, moviegoers, camera lovers, and cinephiles. A video posted by Red Digital Cinema shows how the aerial shots in Transformer 7 were crafted. It appears that those shots were possible thanks to a drone titled Cybertron, which was developed by Revered Cinema. That surprised us since all resources state that the Rise of the Beasts was shot on the Airy Alexa Mini LF. Therefore, the Red Komodo had a vital role in the movie, especially in the aerial shots. And there were tons of those shots. Revered Cinema is Canada's premier specialized camera and drone film company. These guys are skilled professionals. As mentioned, the FPV drone used to shoot Transformers 7, titled Cybertron FPV Drone Version 2, has two configurations, underslung dual operating FPV mode and top mounted dual operating FPV mode. The Cybertron carries a full size payload camera, FIs, ultra prime lenses, and so on. Through the tightest spots and rips at 100 miles per hour at 15,000 feet for a seven minute flight time. Cybertron version two allows for quick changeover from overslung to underslung in just minutes. The gimbal options are RS3 Pro and Movie Pro. The main specifications are lightweight of carbon fiber, multiple safety redundancies, max weight of 55 pounds, max payload of 15 pounds, and max speed of 100 kilometers per hour. Those are very impressive capabilities. As Transformers movie enthusiasts, we didn't like Rise of the Beasts. We think that this is the weakest Transformers movie ever. Indeed, it was a failure at the box office. Luckily, there are two more parts which we hope to be directed by the great Michael Bay, or even better, Travis Knight, who directed Bumblebee, which we love the most. Anyway, focusing on the aerial shots, Rise of the Beast is the first Transformers movie whose aerial sequences have been shot on an FPV drone. It looked great on the big screen. That means the Mini LF was perfectly paired with the Komodo. Furthermore, it was filmed in 2021, which makes it one of the first cinema FPV implementations ever. 